Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 64. Inside this video, we will continue our CRUD application and inside this we will discuss all about layout settings. In the last video, we had created our models, migrations and resource controller. So when I back to browser, go here, this is our application landing page development server already started so if i type called device now as we can see we have a blank page so back to terminal close this development server and when i type php artisan let's route and list so inside this route list as we can see that when we type device into the URL, it means by using get request, then it is calling means the name of the route is device.index and it is calling device controller and index method. So when I back to editor, go inside controller, so app, HTTP controllers, device controller and inside this device controller, right now we have empty index method. So let's say that we are going to print a simple static message. So H1, let's say this is sample message. So when I save these changes, back to browser, reload this page and we need to restart our server. So PHP artisan serve. And as we can see that we have a static message but in the demonstration we have seen that while typing device we want a device listing page so for that we need to make a layout so for the layout simply back to google and type bootstrap three panels so here we have the first link as w3schools.com so simply i am clicking on that link and inside this as we can see we have a panel heading panel content so i will copy this layout so click on try it yourself go here inside this editor copy all the code from here i am copied that back to editor so first of all let's say that we are going to create a parent layout parent layout contains all the code instead this is the dynamic body it means on the basis of our operation like add, edit, let's say list, we will change only the dynamic body content. Otherwise, all the stuff remains same and it will go inside parent layout. So back to editor, go inside resources, views and inside this views folder, I will create a folder something let's say with the name of crud. It's not here resources, it will be inside views folder. So here inside we have a views folder. Now inside this CRUD folder, we will create a parent layout. So what I will do, let's create a file something, let's say layout.blade.php. Now inside this layout file, I have copied and pasted all the contents from w3schools.com. Now here let's change that. So I want the dynamic title should go here. So for that, let's define a ld directive. So here we should have a title. Now next, we want this dynamic body content. So simply, I will remove that and let's define a section. This will be body and we need to show the body content here. So simply, this is the section what we had defined inside this layout.blade.php. Now next, we need to create a layout for this index method. So again, I will go inside resources, views and CRUD folder. Let's create a file something, let's say index.blade.php. And inside this file, what I will do, first of all, we will inherit this layout. So for that, let's say extends, it will be something extends and inside this, let's say that we have 
inside our CRUD folder, we have a layout file. So extends CRUD.layout. After extending layout, next we need to define the values for two placeholders. First is for title and the second for the body. So back to index.play.php and to define values, let's say that we have a section directive. So here we should have a section. So for the first yield, let's say section. Here we have a title and let's say list devices. Next, we have another section directive and this is for the body. Now inside this, what I will do, this is the panel content. It means we have a bootstrap panel for heading. Here we have a panel. Inside this panel, we have a heading and content. So inside this panel heading, let's say that list devices. So copy and pasting it here. So if I save all these changes, successfully we have created a layout, extend here and we have changed the value for dynamic placeholders. So save all these changes, back to browser, reload this page. So I think we have static message here. So instead of that, I will return, let's return view and we need to call crud.index because this is the index.blade.php and keep in mind this is the file we have created inside crud folder. So this is all about the folder name and we are calling index.blade.php from that folder. So save again, go and reload this page and as we can see that we have a bootstrap layout. So what I will do, one more change I will do instead of default, let's say a primary this is panel hyphen primary all let's see, all the classes inside this all defined inside bootstrap bootstrap.mean.css and which is here so from this css file we are calling panel hyphen primary so it will give a different color and as we can see here now next inside this layout we want a table here instead of this panel content and also we want a button here something with the name of add device so again back to this website and search for bootstrap table so if i scroll down and here we have bootstrap tables so simply i'm clicking on that scroll down and let's say that for this first example I will copy the code. So click on try it yourself. Go here. Copy all the code of this table section only. I have copied. Back to editor. Go inside this panel body. Remove this static message called panel content. And I have pasted all the code inside this. So save all these changes. Go and reload this page. Now we have a table area. So inside this table, right now we have dummy columns called first name, last name and email. But instead of these dummy columns, what we want? First of all, we want the ID. Next, we want the device name. After that, we want, let's say, status means it is active or inactive. And the last column, we want something, let's say, action. And inside this action column, we will define in the next video about edit and delete button. So here we have four columns. Let's define some dummy values. So device ID 1. Let's say device 1. In case of status, simply let's say for now, we are going to create a button. And inside this button, we will use some bootstrap classes. So class, let's say btn, btn success. And for the message, let's say active. So I will remove this another two tiers. Let's define one more td because we have four th here. Now inside this last td, we want two action buttons. 
the first button is for let's say edit so I will call it as edit class let's say btn btn info and at the last we will define let's say for the delete and inside this we'll use the class of bootstrap called btn btn danger now if you save all these changes go and reload this page now we have a perfect layout but right now these all the contents of this first row we had defined as a static value now next we need to make a add device button here so back to our code go inside this layout this is our panel heading so inside this panel heading we need to include a button so what I will do let's define our anchor tag call it as add device inside this anchor tag I will call the bootstrap classes as btn btn let's say success or simply let's say btn btn warning and inside this href we will call the route if I back to editor and here as we can see that by using get request type we have another route called device forward slash create and this is the named route it means this is the name of this route so when we define this when we go inside this route it will call the create method of this device controller so back to editor here I will call the route helper function of Laravel and inside this we will use the named route so for the create we will have this so I will copy device.create go and paste it here so if I go and reload this page now we have a add device button but this device we should want here something like this at the right corner so again I will add another bootstrap class called pull right so go and reload this page and also we want something for the margin top value here so style let's say margin top equals to minus 7 pixel now if I save all these changes go and reload this page now we have a perfect layout of list devices page when I click on this route so now we are on the device create and it will call the create method this create method if I write here as a static message let's say this is create method now if you save go here reload this page this is create method so in the next video this is for only for the list devices in the next video we will make the form for this add device and also perform the edit and delete operations so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day